Hey everybody, Stephen Palm Springs here at the airport, or right next door to the airport. The street behind me, you could probably hear the noise and the cars driving by. That's Gene Autry. I don't know, is it Drive or Boulevard? I think it's Gene Autry Drive. Gene Autry Trail. Okay, so there's a sign. It's Gene Autry Trail. I don't know why I always forget the trail part of it. I always forget that it's trail rather than drive or street or avenue. Every week, this is the way Jim and I drive to Walmart to do our grocery shopping. And the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I just happened to see this really large statue in this business center here. It's kind of a nondescript business center. I, I know there's a radio station here and a, you know, a few other businesses, but it's more of an industrial park. And I saw this gold statue, this giant gold statue. It really got my attention. And so I decided to come back today and take a closer look. And it just so happens that this morning I was looking online. I think it was on Instagram, Instagram or Facebook. I think it was Facebook. No, actually it was Nextdoor, you know, the, the Nextdoor app. And someone was asking, what is this statue? I guess other people also drove by. And I just noticed this statue, gosh, maybe a week or so ago. And I don't think it's been here for more than a couple of weeks. Maybe a month. Maybe I just didn't notice it. But other people have started noticing it too. And the person who left the post on the Nextdoor app asked if anybody knew what it was. And a few people left comments. And all, all kinds of people had different ideas of what it might be. And finally, one person said that he had done some investigating. And that this building here is where Herb Alpert, you know, musician, the famous trumpeter Herb Alpert. Remember, if you're a baby boomer, I'm sure you remember Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. Well, in addition to being a very famous musician, some of you may also know that he's also a very famous sculptor. And as I'm sitting here, I just parked, I see some of his sculptures here on the side of this building. So I can confirm that this is definitely a sculpture that was made by him. So the person who left the, the comment, or a couple of people left comments saying that he was the sculptor, and this is just a sculpture of, of someone playing a trumpet. Now, I don't know if it's like a self-portrait kind of statue or not. I'm going to look and see. Someone said there's a, a plaque or something on the door of this gallery, this building. Apparently, he had a gallery showing here back for Modernism Week about a month or so ago, and he showed his work here in this, I guess it's a gallery, I guess it's an art gallery. I didn't hear about it at the time. I know I have seen his work at Sunnylands in Palm Desert. I was there a couple of years ago with Jim and we saw some of his sculptures in the outdoor sculpture garden and they're really beautiful. He does really large sculptures. Most of them I think are more abstract. And I'm not sure if this, this doesn't look abstract. This looks actually very realistic. So I thought maybe it's a, um, a sculpture of him, but I don't know. We'll see if it has a plaque on the sculpture itself. The person online said it was just a sculpture of a trumpeter, not of him. So I don't know. I guess we'll, I'll, I'll go see. It's so windy and cold out. I decided to talk about it here in the car before I walk over there. It's also very noisy because of this Gene Autry, which is a very, very busy street. It's one of the major thoroughfares here in Palm Springs. So it gets pretty noisy. So I'm curious to see what the statue looks like up close. So, all right, I'm gonna head over there. As always, you know, you probably heard me say this like a hundred times or a thousand times. Whenever I pull out my camera, as soon as I turn my camera on, almost instantaneously, all of a sudden, somebody with a leaf blower appears. And sure enough, it's eight o'clock in the morning. This industrial park isn't even open yet. And sure enough, <laughs> the second I turn on my camera to film in front of the, uh, the statue here, magically appears a leaf blower, a guy with a leaf blower. 
blowing dust in my face and the life of a vlogger always on the run from leaf blowers it's just a thing when you when you when you're out vlogging there will always be a leaf blower following you <laughs> they just I don't know, I, I wonder if they have like some kind of a tracking device on my car so they know where I'm going and they can alert the, the nearest leaf blowers to, to show up and the, the second I turn on my camera. It's, it's funny, I just have to laugh at this point, it's so ridiculous. But anyway, so it's really nice to see that Herb Alpert has this uh, studio and gallery and it must be his. I mean, there's a sculpture garden here. Well, yeah, I mean, it's got his name on the, on the front, on the door. So I'm guessing he must live down here or have a second home down here. I don't remember ever hearing about him living here, but if any of you happen to know, share with us in the comments. It would be interesting to know if he lives here, where he lives. I know Trini Lopez lived here for decades and decades. He died a few years ago and I just recently discovered, I thought maybe he would be buried here in Palm Springs, but uh, he was buried back, here, back uh, in Texas where he was born, in the town where he was born. So I guess he had ties, family ties there as well, even though he lived here for, I think, much, if not all of his adult life. And I don't know if Trini Lopez worked with Herb Alpert, if, uh, I think Herb Alpert started a and m with a, with a partner. And I can't remember now if Trini Lopez was on that label on a and M. I think it was a and Again, if you know, let me know. I just, I'm just kind of just thinking about things, remember having flashbacks and memories from the 1960s when Herb Alpert and Trini Lopez were, all, were both very, very popular on the radio, at least here in Southern California. I know they were both popular nationally and internationally. It was kind of cool when I first learned that Trini Lopez lived down here and had been here for years, and he was a friend of, of Frank Sinatra, and that he was just living here just down the street from the Dean Martin home. I, I, I've shown you Dean Martin's home, and I know um, Scott Michaels has done a couple of uh, videos on Dean Martin's former Palm Springs home, and he's just right around the corner. Trini Lopez's house was just right around the corner. So I, I don't know where Herb Alpert lives, if he lives here, or if, it's, if he just comes down here to work here. Almost every celebrity has had a home down here at one time or another, so it's very likely he does live down here. So share with us if you know in the comments, it'd be fun to know. So what do you think of this uh, statue? It's the most realistic statue I've seen him do. I assume that he did this statue, maybe somebody else did it, but that would seem odd too. It doesn't really look like his other statues, but if any, again, if anyone knows, let us know in the comments. And this week I want to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest channel supporter, James Adair. Thanks James for your very kind and generous donation to my channel using YouTube Super Thanks. It's very appreciated. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.